Hey, we're looking green, we're looking live. It's officially beginning the hype countdown. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached the last hour before quadruple UDC begins. Very excited to see you all. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, just as a reminder, in case some of you don't know, because this happens every single Apple event, everyone suddenly forgets how the internet works and doesn't know when the event starts. The event starts in one hour in ten minutes. I will be doing my live reaction to the event over on Twitch. The link for that viewer, uh, the viewership is in the description. Uh, this is just where we're going to recap our final predictions, final rumors going around. Um, Mac OS Big Sur. I don't know if you guys saw that leak, but... Now it sounds like we'll be lucky if we get hardware at this event because there's several leakers walking around saying we're not getting any hardware at this event after telling us we're getting hardware at this event for months and months and months. So let's see how this goes. Um, at this point, I would be kind of confused and very uh, perplexed if we actually don't end up seeing hardware at this event because I get, you know, in the... In the first, like, initial impressions, people are like, oh, no hardware at this event that, you know, sometimes Worldwide Developers Conference doesn't have hardware. It's a software event primarily. Why would there be hardware? But here's my point. If they're not announcing it at this event, I don't know when a better time is because the September event is going to be all about iPhones. Um, so why would they want to delay AirPod Studio, AirTags, uh, Apple TV, iMac redesign, which lots and lots of leakers are now saying the iMac redesign is happening. Um, I don't know why they would want to unveil that with the iPhone 12. That's primarily a consumer event. Um, the Mac and stuff like that is primarily for developers. And for several, several years now, Apple has been very comfortable unveiling hardware at Quadruple UDC that doesn't ship for another six to eight months. For instance, the HomePod was unveiled at Worldwide Developers Conference 2017, didn't ship until February 2018. The iMac Pro was also unveiled in uh, Developers Conference of 2017. They, unveil they unveiled it, but it didn't ship until December. Same with the Mac Pro in the Pro Display XDR. They unveiled it at the Developers Conference, but they didn't ship it until December. So I'm not expecting anything to really be ready to ship today. Um, I'm fine with that. I can get behind the idea that, okay, stuff isn't ready to start shipping out today. But I have a hard time believing that they would have zero hardware to unveil. And this is purely just software announcements. I could be wrong. You know, lots of people, again, are saying that last minute, I guess, Apple decided to scrap all the hardware. But uh, I'm still having a hard time understanding why, you know, they didn't have any hardware unveiled in 2018 Developers Conference. But that event was the same year there was a March event. It was the same year we had an October event. And I'm personally predicting that Apple's going to keep events to a minimum this year just because of COVID. Um, and there's probably only going to be this event and the iPhone event in September. That's it. That's all I'm anticipating. I don't think they're going to have a later October event to unveil all this stuff. So in my opinion, today's the day. Today's the day it makes sense to unveil this stuff, even if it's not ready to ship. And yeah, in, in my opinion, that would mean including... Uh, the ARM MacBook unveiling because I, I just don't see Apple today being the type of company to just announce a transition and nothing else. But hey, we got our first super chat from Alex Jackson. Thank you. He says, hype. Appreciate the donation. Uh, yeah, iPhones kind of have their own event. Those events are pretty much just um, iPhones, Apple Watches, and maybe an iPad. That's pretty much all the hardware they like talking about at the iPhone events. I'm not sure there's much time uh, for other Macs and other little refreshes that we've been hearing about for so long. So some people are saying they want slow mode. Um, I have to figure out where that is. I haven't had to activate it in forever. <laughs> I think it's the three dots. No? Okay. YouTube just redesigned... I apologize. YouTube just redesigned their, uh, what's it called? YouTube live streaming studio thing, and all the buttons I'm used to seeing are no longer there. Um, so I am just going to have to tell you to live it up chat <laughs> this is uh this is as good as it can get um let's see some people are thinking apple sent fake news of no hardware to catch the leakers and see who their actual sources is i like that it's a conspiracy but <laughs> it's an interesting theory we got going there uh i don't expect ipad air to be refreshed at this event um i think it's too close to the ipad pro refresh and that makes me think that ipad air will probably get refreshed in september 
at the earliest. If anything, maybe later than that. Jaden sent a super chat. Thank you very much. Says, should I regret buying the 2020 i5 MacBook Air yesterday? Mm, I don't think they're going to announce anything that's going to instantly make that MacBook Air dated today. Um, maybe in the long term, you might feel a little dated because, again, it's rumored that they're announcing the transition to ARM CPUs. Uh, some people are saying it's just an announcement. Some people are saying there will be a product unveiling along with it. We'll find out very shortly. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. But, um, no, I don't think the MacBook Air is getting replaced by anything today uh, or anything in the next couple months. So, no, don't, don't feel bad. Don't sweat it. Uh, Keegan Super Chat, it says, iOS 14 will be my 10th version of iOS I've used. I started on iOS 4 with a 3GS. <laughs> Crazy how time flies by. Yeah, except it might be called iPhone OS now, so get used to that tongue twister. <laughs> uh, oh, Mersey Super Chatted and said, good morning. Oh, guys, can we talk about that for a second? This is the first online-only Apple event in a long time. If I, I think maybe ever, even the Apple events that weren't live streamed, they had, like, the media and press show up. It's possible we might not get that moment of Tim Cook saying good morning because there's no audience. No one's going to be clapping. No one's going to be... What, like, that's normally how these events start, is everybody cheering while Tim goes, good morning. So, I don't know what to do. I, I mean, I don't know how it's going to feel. This could be a very, very different Apple event compared to previous years. This one could feel very awkward. More awkward and cringy. They're always awkward and cringy a little bit. But this could be more so... Or perhaps less so, because I still am under the belief that, personally, I think this is pre-recorded. It's being broadcasted, sort of like a YouTube premiere, but personally, I don't think this is actually live. I think Apple wanted to record the whole thing ahead of schedule. Uh, schedule. <laughs> they recorded the whole thing so there won't be any like mess-ups or demos or Craig going, ho, 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 let's go to backup here. They don't want any of those moments. And because there's not an actual stage or a crowd, they're just, they've pre-recorded the whole thing and they're going to broadcast it, okay? So it's not like uploading a YouTube video. You're not going to be able to skip ahead just because it's pre-recorded. It'll still be a broadcast, so it'll feel like it's a live stream, but in reality it's actually not. That's what I'm guessing. But uh, I guess we really have no way of knowing. I don't think Apple would tell us. Uh, uh, Ibis super chatted, uh, says, Good day from Australia. Can't wait for quadruple UDC. Uh, Malarkey Man, thank you for the super chat. He says, Apple Newton refresh. Yes, pretty sure that's 100% confirmed, right? Brandon, thank you for the super chat. Says, obviously they had to scrap the hardware releases to make room for the 45-minute Memoji presentation. D did you see that tweet Tim Cook sent out this morning that's him as, as a Memoji saying, like, good morning, developers. I was like, oh, God, what if this is the whole event? It's just two hours of Tim Cook being a Memoji. <laughs> Uh, at the same time, I could see it happening, because Apple's very proud of those memojis. Um, let's see. What will happen during the September event, then? iPhone, Apple Watch, iPad. That's what happened at the last September event. Can you guys believe it's been nine months since the last Apple event? Oh my god, that's been a lot of hype. There's been a lot that have come out since then. I mean, there's been a ton of stuff Apple has launched without a keynote. I mean, they launched AirPods Pro, 16-inch MacBook Pro, the redesigned MacBook Air with the Magic Keyboard, uh, the Magic Keyboard case, uh, the iOS, iPad OS 13.4 that lets you have cursor support and tracker support, um, the updated MacBook Pro, 13-inch MacBook Pro. There's been so much stuff. Dan the Man Super Chatted says they'll have fake clapping, of course. Of course they will. Um... No, I don't know, because this is a developer's conference. Do they really want it to feel like an episode of The Big Bang Theory, where we have fake people who are like, yay! We're clapped because Apple can decide how long the applause is for. Maybe they could make it kind of humorous, and like everyone's clapping, and Tim Cook walks out on stage, and then when he does this, all the clapping like instantly stops. He's just like, thank you. Today we want to talk... <laughs> you could make a joke out of it. I think it could be comedic. Jason Super Chat, says, how do you think LSD affected Steve Jobs and Apple? Oh, my God. That's too deep of a question. Um, you know, Steve, I read the autobiography, not the autobiography, the biography of Steve Jobs, and he was into weird kind of stuff like that uh, that kind of helped him become the visionary that it was. But at the same time, he was kind of a jerk to a lot of people. But <laughs> I don't know. I could do a whole podcast on that alone. CD80, thank you for the Super Chat. Want to upgrade my iPad Air 2? What do you think? Um, now is not a horrible time to upgrade. If you're fine with Touch ID and the home button, 
The current iPad Air would be a decent upgrade for you, especially given it's the back-to-school program right now, so you could get free AirPods with it, um, and also get it at a discounted price with education, so it's a little under 500 bucks. Uh, I, I don't think it's a terrible time to buy, but there definitely seem to be some reports of an iPad Air 4 of sorts coming out around September or later in the year, so... Mm, if you can hold on to it a little bit longer, I would say hold on to it. But if you can't, you know, your iPad Air 2 is just not cutting it anymore. It's killing you. Then sure, you know, go ahead and upgrade. Or even better yet, try to find a certified refurbished iPad Pro from 2018. Because honestly, that's the best iPad deal you can get right now. 550 bucks with 120 hertz display, stereo speakers, face ID working in any orientation. Like, that is a great deal, honestly. Um... I don't think he had a lot. LSD stuff is way too clear. Right. Uh, yeah, I heard the reports too. iOS 14 or iPhone OS 14 is rumored to run on every single device that ran iOS 13, which is great. That means that lots and lots of you get to in, enjoy the new features. I'm not exactly sure if there will be a ton of new features. Uh, I think it might be intentionally boring this year. Let, let's get that expectation out of the way. Guys, this happens every single year. I gotta be, I, I gotta be honest here. I've reacted to Worldwide Developers Conference every year since 2017. Okay, this is my fourth year doing this now, and every single year, everyone gets pumped, everyone gets hyped beyond belief. They're like, "Oh my God, I can't believe it! I can't believe it. this is gonna be exciting." The event starts, and then. They'll start talking about stuff you don't care about, whether it's an augmented reality demo, whether it's health features, whether it's some kind of stability thing for developers, and you are going to feel bored. Every single Apple event, no matter how big of an event it is, has fluff. Fluff, for those of you who don't know, is time killer. Apple putting in stuff that you're not there to see, but they want you to know about. In fact... PlayStation 5 is the ultimate example of an unveiling with fluff because it was basically an hour and 15 minutes of just gameplay commercials, ads, until they actually unveiled the console. And Apple does kind of a version of that. It's not as bad, but Apple will literally just know that you're there for certain things, like big hardware announcements and that kind of stuff, and they'll save that for the end of the event so that they can get you to sit through the boring stuff in the beginning. There will be boring stuff. Yes, services, telling you how Apple News Plus is doing, telling you how the Apple Card is doing, telling you about how amazing Apple TV Plus is. There will be all kinds of that boring service stuff. Just expect that. Do not expect glasses to come out today. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you think iP iPod OS will happen? God, I hope not. Please not. Drew, the iMac 27-inch in the UK, at least, is still not shipping until mid-July. Why is this if no hardware is expected? Well, the iPhone 8 was still shipping the day before the iPhone SE launch, so it's not out of the ordinary. Um, again, like I said, I'm not expecting the... If there is a redesigned iMac today, which it sounds like there may not be, but there's definitely one in the works, as Ming-Chi Kuo has confirmed it, and he knows his stuff from supply chains. Ming-Chi Kuo was like the only guy who knew about the Pro Display XDR and the resolution and the size of, all, and it, of it and all that. He knows his stuff, and he's saying the redesigned iMac is happening. If that gets unveiled today, I don't think it'll be shipping today. I, I think it'll be shipping later in the year, like Q3 or Q4. Uh, Peyton Super Chat, it says, Honestly, if they just announced se uh, setting third-party apps as default, I'll be happy. I just want to use Firefox. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that kind of stuff. I'm happy with Safari, but I'm glad that's rumored. I hope that happens. Also, I wanted to thank um, Lance Gamer 9108 Thank you for becoming a YouTube member. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, let's see, Steph super chatted, Quadruple UDC starts, the program was recorded in front of a live studio audience, yeah, I think that would get, I think Apple would get some backlash for that, because I think Apple wants to tiptoe around the whole social distancing thing, and, and the pandemic, and keeping people uh, away from each other, and even if they brought, like, Apple employees to the event, and they're spaced out away from each other, I still think Apple would get flack for that, and for that, I think Apple will avoid it, I don't think they're going to show the stage at all. Uh, Colin Super Chat, it says, if there's no iMac, Apple Sheep Overdrive needed. I will be extremely mad at the people who have leaked stuff that was coming at this event for months. And I don't think anyone's innocent of that. Pretty much any leaker I've heard of has said that there was hardware coming at Quadruple UDC this year. Lots of it. And if suddenly none of it happens, they all suck. 
Y'all suck. Y'all terrible. <laughs> Y'all are terrible. Why get us so hyped for that? I, I personally can't stand it when we get leaks for something for months and months and months. And you're hearing about, oh, this is what's going to happen at the, at the event. This is what's going to happen at the event. And then the day before the event, we hear leakers go, actually, none of it's happening. Never mind. <laughs> it's like, why do we even follow leaks at that point? This is all useless. Um, let's see. Some of us do come for the developer stuff. Hardware can be developer stuff, people. There was hardware last year. There was hardware in 2017. And the only reason there wasn't hardware in 2018 was because we had a March event and we had an October event. And I don't think there's going to be an October event this year. Apple's going to keep events to a minimum because of the pandemic. Holy crap. There's a lot of people watching right now. We almost hit 3,000 viewers. By the way, my record for, I think, YouTube live stream viewership was 3,000 when I pre-ordered the iPhone 10. And it sounds like we're about to break that record. That's awesome. And I apologize. I don't do this often. But uh, a reminder, the Talos of Tech podcast will have a new episode today. We're going to record it right after the event takes place. And Nick is going to be working his butt off to try to get this video up on the Talos of Podcast channel. Um, put the link in the description. And we are so dang close. We're less than 200 subscribers away from being 1,000. I'll never ask you to subscribe again. The only reason we want 1,000 subs is then we can monetize the channel. And we haven't monetized it yet. So Nick and Randy are putting all of this hard work into the podcast, which you guys, a lot of you listen to and watch. And they get nothing for it. So I want them to be reimbursed. So please, even if you just subscribe to the channel until we hit 1,000 and then you can unsubscribe, I'd appreciate it very much. Um, and we've got plenty of people watching right now. So let's, let's please make it happen. I'll never ask again. Tom Herbert, thank you for the super chat. Will there be a new iMac released? Maybe. There's a bunch of leakers saying, it looks great, it's going to come out, we're going to see it. And there's also a bunch of leakers now saying there's not going to be any new hardware unveiled at this event. So we're getting very, very con contradicting reports. So I don't exactly know how to take that. I hope so. In my opinion, if you had to ask me for a personal guess, I'm no leaker. I don't have sources or anything. Personally, I think yes. I think we're going to see hardware at this event because there's only going to be two Apple events this year. And if there's no hardware at this event, that means they have to announce all of the 2020 hardware via site refresh or at the September event. And I don't think they want to launch a redesigned iMac via September event or via website refresh. To me, that sounds like a big deal, especially the ARM transition they want to talk about on stage. So in my opinion, apps are fruitly. Fruitly because Apple. I definitely think... Um, I definitely think that we're going to see hardware today. And this live stream is going to age horribly, by the way. <laughs> I can't wait. Because once we see the event and nothing comes out, I'll be like, okay, okay, whatever. Let's get excited for the next Apple event then. Uh, Adaptive Tech Super Chat. It says, love your channel, Drew. Can't wait. My personal opinion, there's going to be a new iMac. If it was a minor refresh, they would have released it already. Yeah, I agree with you. Subscribe to your podcast. Hey, thank you, Jennifer. Appreciate the Super Chat. For those who are wondering where the podcast channel link is obviously costs you nothing to subscribe and you get hours of free content so please please enjoy it whoa wait we reached it already someone said they reached a thousand sub that was fast <laughs> thank you guys appreciate that i gotta text nick i'll tell nick uh hey you gotta apply for monetization now that was fast i was i was expecting to get maybe a hundred subscribers from this live stream but we did it thank you everyone appreciate you very much okay i'll never ask for you to subscribe to anything again in fact unsubscribe from this channel right now <laughs> that's how i that's how i justify it ryan super chatted will be so annoyed if tim doesn't reveal hardware yeah it's all tim cook's fault i'm sure uh mohammed super chatted i don't want to go into business details but i do believe hardware is coming today i think the rumor was leaked by apple on purpose to filter and follow the leaks i want to believe that I really want to believe that um, because I want hardware today. And uh, several leakers have been saying how great the new redesigned iMac is. And I want to see it. I want to see it. I'm, I'm convinced it exists. If Ming-Chi Kuo says it exists, it means it's happening at some point this year. Uh, I just hope it's today. Mercy, thank you for the super chat. Podcast channel just jumped to 1,000. Congrats and time to get monetized. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. You guys are awesome. I will never ask you to subscribe to a channel again. In fact, you should unsubscribe from every other channel. <laughs> Thundercat Goldkeeping Super Chatted. Uh, will my keep? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. That's a typo or whatever. 
Rusty Super Chat says, love your videos. Thanks for your positive vibes. You are welcome. Let's all get hurt again by the Apple event that doesn't live up to our expectations. Let's go. I'm just confused because we've seen so many leaks lately saying that Apple has all these things ready to ship. I saw leakers saying AirPod Studio have been ready to ship since March. New AirPods have been ready to ship since March. New iMacs have been ready to ship since March, which I'm now having a hard time believing. And uh, new Apple TV has been ready to ship since March. Hearing all of these things, and now they're like, eh, you know, I don't really feel like, <laughs> let's not announce it at one of two events we have this year. Let's just do it for a site refresh. It's like, really? Ugh. No, thank you. Also want to give a big shout out to the mods who are working really, really hard. I get it. YouTube chat is particularly toxic. But also big shout out to all of you casual leakers out... Not leakers. Um, what's the term? Uh, there's a word for it. Lurkers. Lurkers. The lurkers out there that are not commenting in the chat but watching the live stream anyway, we see you. We know you're there. You never click the like button. You never click dislike. You just watch. But you're what makes this channel run. So thank you to all the lurkers out there. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Glebs super chatted. Hi from Russia. I'll stay up till 5 a.m. for this. Oh, my God. Dude, that's not going to be worth it. There's going to be so much fluff in this event, I can already tell. Yeah, lurkers. Uh, what about AirPods Studio? You posted and then deleted today? Oh, okay. I'll address that. Okay. So here's what happened. I got a DM from someone who said, I think someone leaked AirPods Studio. Go to the gift card section of the Apple Store app. And I went in there, and here are... Nothing but Apple products, right? A picture of the iPad, the MacBook, the Apple Watch, the iPhone. And then one of the pictures was this pair of over-ear headphones that looked exactly like the, the glyph in the iOS 14 leaks, the little glyph of the Apple over-ear AirPod Studios. And I was like, wait, is that it? Did they put it in there before they, before they realized it was ready? I was like, that looks like the new headphones. And it didn't have the Beats logo on it or anything. And it didn't look like typical Beats headphones because I've seen them. And there wasn't anything there, so it didn't look like that icon. So I was like, hey, is, I tweeted it out. I was like, is this AirPods Studio? Did they already unveil it? So it turns out it was a pair of Beats headphones. It was just at an angle I'm not used to seeing it at um, because every single pair of Beats headphones always tries to showcase the Beats, lo the Beats logo on the side. This was the one picture I saw that didn't have that on the side. So I jumped the gun, tweeted it out before I realized it, so I deleted the tweet to prevent a uh, false hope false hype of people thinking that there was because there were already some people replying to the tweet saying hey airpod studio leaked and i was like ah oh, shoot i jumped the gun tweeted too early so yes i deleted the tweet um calling me all calling me alejandro super chatted from a new lurker you're welcome oh thank you very much we appreciate you lurkers no there will not be any iphones at this event oh my god i don't know who keeps telling you there's going to be iphones at a developer cup there's no iphones today people there's no iPhones today. <laughs> um, let's see. Super chatted from Wakas. Uh, Super chatted says, yo, bro, really appreciate the honesty that you put into your videos and you don't oversaturate your content either. Keep that, uh, keep that ish up. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. I mean, all, all I'm trying to do is make the content I want to see. I don't like thumbnails or titles that trick people. I don't like videos with sponsors in them because I feel like they're wasting my time. I get why channels have to have sponsors. It's understandable. I get it. Um, but if a channel doesn't have one, I might like that one a lot more because I feel like my time's not being wasted. So I'm going to just continue doing that as long as I can. I appreciate every single one of you for watching or super chatting, um, because it allows me to have the best job in the world. This is my dream job and I love it. So I would never take you guys for granted and assume I'm always going to have you. That's why I've redesigned my budget over the past couple of years so that I can hopefully, whether I have YouTube or not, continue to make videos that you guys can keep watching. So as long as you keep watching, I'll keep making. Let's keep let's keep it up because I'm loving it. And if you guys are loving it, I'll keep it going. And holy crap, I think we hit a record today. 3,300 people watching right now. Oh my God. I've never had that many people watching a YouTube stream before. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you guys. Uh, we got a super chat from Jason. It says, Hype Train, Taylor's of Tech, you are great. Okay, let's. this isn't the hype for me. Let's go back to the keynote. I don't need to hear more about me. <laughs> Watch them launch AirPod Studio tonight. Would it be tonight, or is it just your time zone? I feel like AirPod Studio is still going to come out today. Not to, not to ship. It might be like coming this fall or something. Uh, th thank you, Brain Frick, for the super chat. <laughs> what time does the show start? So... For those of you who don't know, uh, I, first of all, can I be confused for a second? 
if you don't know when the Apple event is, why is your solution ask people in a live stream? Just Google it. Go to Apple's website. It'll tell you. Thank you for the Super Chat, Nathan. So, Apple event officially starts in 45 minutes. It is, ter- is currently 9.14 a.m. Pacific time. In 45 minutes, the Apple event will begin. Ten minutes before the event starts, I will be switching over to this setup, and I'll be over on Twitch. The link for my Twitch account is in the description, so you can click that when this stream ends and watch the Apple keynote with me. Yes, you will, you will be able to see and hear the Apple event on the Twitch page. I'm not live reacting to it on YouTube because YouTube doesn't like it when I do that. So Twitch is fine with it, though. Um, oh, wow. Hello from Romania, says Edward. Thank you for the super chat. And another super chat from Justin Beck. Uh, think they will have improvements for Magic Keyboard? Yeah, I mean, iPadOS has to have something. iPadOS has got to be taking advantage. Ooh, you know what? I know people have been saying there's no hardware, but if we get Final Cut Pro... For the iPad Pro today? Oh, I can't wait to try that out. I think I made a tweet that people are going to hold me to that if Final Cut launched for the iPad Pro, I would edit at least five videos on the iPad, which might be very hard. (laughs) That might be hard. Uh, Justin uh, said, love Apple Keynote days, and I've enjoyed your videos ever since the Attic days. Keep it up, and best wishes. I wish you all the best. Oh, thank you, Justin. Appreciate the super chat. Lance super chatted as well. Do you think Apple will ever add a Touch ID sensor in the Apple Watch? Eh, I feel like they don't need to because the Apple Watch isn't something you unlock a hundred times a day like you do your iPhone. The Apple Watch, once it's on your wrist and unlocked, it stays unlocked until you take it off again. And most people aren't taking their watch off a hundred times a day. So even if they put a biometric on there, it would only be used, like, how often? Like, maybe five ten times a day which in my opinion is a little wasteful because the little pin isn't that hard come on it's not that bad um so at the same time though the apple watch is kind of running out of things to do the series six already sounds boring like they're not going to add much to it so if they run out of things to add to the apple watch maybe yeah maybe they'll feel like adding something like touch id to it but i definitely don't think it should be a high priority I, i would say only add Touch ID to the watch if you can do it in a cost-effective manner that the price stays the same. Because if it requires a price jump for Touch ID, not worth it, in my opinion. Don't raise the price. Whoa! I think we have the Super Chat record for today's stream. Thank you very much, Maple Tree Productions. Super Chat at 50 bucks, saying can't wait. Thank you very much. Um, who else Super Chatted? Uh, Warrior86, thank you for the five bucks. And Biblical Ways News says, Hope this helps buying a silly pen, and God bless. <laughs> Thanks. I will I will use that money to buy a silly pen. No, just kidding. I got an Apple Pencil. It's fine. Jack Super Chat, it makes me sad that the almighty processor said no products. My heart is officially broken. Well, John has been wrong before, guys, so let's not convince ourselves there's absolutely no hardware because, I mean, he also said quadruple UDC would be June 1st, and it wasn't. So... Plans can change. Plans can change. I'm giving. I'm leaving out hope out there. He could be right. Not saying he's absolutely wrong, but um, the software is free, and I feel like there's going to be hardware th- at this event. Personally, sorry, there's a fly in here. Vincent Super Chat at Apple TV show Mythic Quest has the iMac design. Oh, okay, cool. Make it easier. Super Chat. It says, "I love your videos. Love from India. Love back to India. Thank you for watching from all the way over there. Make it easier." Um, oh my god, I gotta keep up with these super chats. Billy Tudor says, nice haircut. Thank you very much. My wife has cut my hair ever since we were married. So, it's not a, you know, quarantine haircut. This is just how, any hair I've had over the past couple years has been thanks to my wife. And she's not even a hairstylist. She just learned how to do it just for me. So, shout out to Louise. She's an amazing wife. The best. Alan super chat. It says, do you think the 16 gigabyte RAM option is a bottleneck on the MacBook 16 inch with the 5600 M GPU. I don't think so. I think people over exaggerate the importance of RAM. So I personally think you'd be fine with 16 gigs of RAM. But I'm not an expert, so don't take my word for it. Arvin Super Chat says, I think Tim wanted to trick John like John Prosser tricking the MacBook Pro 13 inch 2020. Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, Ryan R Super Chat says, Why do you think iOS will be named iPhone OS? Well, John Prosser tweeted out iPhone OS a couple days ago. Um, I think it's possible he could have gotten confused because for those of you who don't know, um, Apple has referred to iOS on internal devices that are testing as iPhone OS since the beginning. That never changed. So anybody who has an internal version of iOS, it's always been referred to as iPhone OS. So I feel like there's a chance that John may have saw 
an internal version of iOS and saw that it was labeled iPhone OS and thought, hey, they're going to change the name, when in reality, internally, it's always been called iPhone OS. So maybe he's just getting confused. But uh, obviously, we don't have to wait that long to find out. 40 minutes till the Apple event starts. Biblical Ways new Super Chat again says, would be awesome with an Apple vacuum. Yeah, Apple vacuum, that would suck. <laughs> Dumb Buzz Super Chat, it says, love from Colorado, I guess? <laughs> The Colorado fan base is like, eh, we don't love you. We kind of like you, I guess, but <laughs> make it easier, Super Chat. It says, you have a big following from India, love from India. Man, you guys are sending so much love today. All this for just a bunch of disappointment when the event begins. <laughs> if they don't announce new hardware, then it will be a huge disappointment. Do you agree? Yeah, I think so. I I'm more disappointed in the leakers than anything, because the reason we believe there's so much hardware at this event is because of all the leaks that we've had for months so if there's no hardware, yeah, Xcode is rumored to come to iPad. That has been leaked for a while. Um, again, not confirmed, but uh, there's been rumors of that going around for a long, long time. So we're going to find out how accurate these leakers are today. Um, let's see. When I'm writing code for iOS, the operating system is called iPhone OS in code. Yeah, I've heard that as well. So it's possible that, you know, Apple, you know, leakers have seen copies of iPhone OS internally and they're like, hey, it's different. So it's going to be called iPhone OS uh, when in reality it's always been called that internally. So externally, I think it could still be called iOS 14. Nice PewDiePie chair. Thank you very much. What about Final Cut Pro? Will that come to the iPad Pro? So the leak was, to correct everyone, I think it was back in March or April, uh, and I believe it was John Prosser who said, Final Cut Pro and Logic and Xcode are coming to the iPad within the year. I don't know why they wouldn't unveil it at developers conference because it's for developers and it's software and it's for the iPad. So it might not be available today. They could, similar to Adobe Photoshop, they unveiled that with the iPad in October of 2018, but it wasn't available for like a year later. Um, it doesn't make sense to unveil that software via site refresh or at the September event. So in my opinion, today's the day, if there is going to be Final Cut and Xcode for iPad, today's the day to do it. Uh... CRM Doodlebump Super Chat. <laughs> That's a fun name. Thank you. Hello from the United Kingdom. Hello back to the UK. I've got some ancestry back there. Uh, I don't know how to say say your name. Is it Ubeltater? I'm sorry. That's probably terrible. Greetings from Bavaria. I apologize if I insulted or offended the entire country just now. Ryan Hummer Super Chat. It says, heard there's a chance they'll change the iPhone name to Apple Phone at some point. <laughs> no, I, I haven't heard any credible leaker say that's going to happen. Um... Why would they change now to iPhone OS? I'm not sure. I've seen some people say that it makes sense given we have TV OS, iPad OS, Mac OS, Watch OS. So why not iPhone OS? It kind of lines up with every other OS naming. But at the same time, the iPod Touch uh, has an A10 chip. And iOS 14 is rumored to run on the 6S, which has an A9. So I'd be very, very shocked if it ended up being like the iPod Touch doesn't get iOS 14 or iPhone OS. That doesn't make sense. So I'm very confused at why Apple would change the name, especially given, consider the fact that it's tvOS, watchOS, macOS. It's not Apple Watch OS. It's not Apple tvOS. It's just tvOS. So with that logic, to be more consistent, it should be called phone OS if we're going to argue consistency, which also sounds terrible to me. I'm very comfortable with saying iOS and I feel like adding syllables to the name for no reason is just kind of unnecessary. So I'm saying maybe, because John has been very accurate with the last-minute leaks and tweeting things right before the event happens. Um, so I, I'm not saying it's impossible that they'll call it iPhone OS. I just don't quite understand why. I don't think the reasoning makes complete sense. Um, Shout-out from Brazil. Thanks, Brazil. Uh, yeah, they don't call it MacBook OS or iMac OS. They just call it Mac OS. So, yeah, I don't quite understand why they would call it iPhone OS. Alex Super Chat, it says, hello from Atlanta. And Andrew Scott Super Chat, it says, good day from Australia. Uh, I, my wife has Australian citizenship, and we're going to try to take a trip out there uh, next year. So, looking forward. I wanna, I've never been to Australia. My wife, uh, her, her, my father-in-law is from there. So, I'm excited to see Australia soon. Uh, he, Andrew Scott's asking about iPad Air 4, which I've done a whole video about, which is essentially 2018 iPad Pro. Dumbed down. Just 2018 iPad Pro, you know, Face ID, USB-C, squared off design, Apple Pencil 2 support, but 
no 120 hertz, no stereo speakers, and probably just an A12 chip, no A12X or anything. Um, so that's why I personally, that's what I personally think the 28, uh, the iPad Air 4 will be, because the current iPad Air is just a rebranded, dumbed-down version of the 2017 iPad Pro. That's really all it is. If you go back and look, the 10.5-inch iPad Pro, turn off ProMotion, turn off stereo speakers, get rid of the CPU, it basically is the iPad Air 3. Um, Ronald Super Chat, it says, is Louise watching Dub Dub as well? Did you ever watch Keynotes together? Greetings from Malta Europe. No, my wife is actually working today. She's working remotely from home, so she's just in the other room. Um, so she cannot watch the event, but she's also not as crazy into this stuff as I am. She's not super techy when it comes to announcements like this. So nope, she doesn't watch Apple events. They're not that interesting to her, but that's okay. I actually prefer it that way because when I'm done working with YouTube and, and making tech videos and doing the podcast and live streaming on Twitch, I don't want to talk more about tech stuff when I'm done working. So it's actually refreshing that when I leave this room and I leave my office and I get to spend time with her, we talk about all kinds of other stuff outside of tech, um, different hobbies and different activities we get to do. Um, so I don't, I, I don't need to talk about tech outside of work. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Lucas says, greetings from Austria. Man, it feels like everybody around the world is watching. Holy crap. The duck with a mic super chat. It says, what do you think the main iOS 14 feature will be? Hmm. I. It might be like, you know, widgets on the home screen or something or control center redesign. But personally, I just wish it would be stability and performance. Just less bugs. Everything runs smoothly. Smoothly. <laughs> I like a smoothie. Um, I just want it to work well. I want an iOS 12 type boring upgrade. Um, like the call UI doesn't take up the whole screen, but that's about it. I, I don't want a giant upgrade with iOS 14. I just want stability above everything. Um, oh, there's some super chats I got to keep up with here. Uh, Peter, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not though. Love your videos. Keep up the good work. The Taylor's of Tech Podcast are really nice as well. Good evening from the Netherlands. Well, thank you for the super chat, Peter. Appreciate that. And uh, we will keep the Talos of uh, Tech Podcast going. And if you like the Tech Podcast, which once again... No, I'm not even going to put it in the chat because we hit 1,000 subs. I'm not going to ask you to watch. Um, but all of the work of the Tech Podcast does not come from me. It comes from Nick and Sweeney and Randy Vasquez, who work very, very hard on the audio and the video, managing and hosting the podcast so that you guys can watch it on Apple Podcasts, so you can watch it on... Uh, or listen to it on Spotify, watch it on YouTube. That's all done by Nick and Randy. None of the work comes from my end. I just get to talk to him for a, a couple hours a week, and they do all the work and make that happen. So please, thank them. Don't thank me for the podcast, because they made it all happen. They do an awesome job. And like I said, after the event today, me, Nick, and Randy will be doing an emergency prompt recap podcast where we get to share all our thoughts on the event, and he's going to try to get that podcast up tonight. It's a lot of work, though, so it might be later tonight. It might not be right after the event. Uh, Dupont super chatted said, and said, Hello and much love from Sweden. I'm from, uh, my ancestors also come from Sweden. Uh, my mother's side of the family mostly came from the United Kingdom, and my father's side uh, is almost pure Swedish. So shout out to my ancestors. Thank you for the super chat. Not Irish as much as everyone would expect because of the hair. They always think I'm Irish. I don't have much, I don't have much Irish in me. Um, did I catch up on Super Chats? I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss any. I'm, I apologize if you donate and I don't see it. But holy crap, we have set an official new record today. We are over 3,600 people watching, and we still got around 30 minutes until the event begins. 30 minutes from now, I'll be over on Twitch, though. Uh, appreciate all of the people watching and tuning in. Sounds like a lot of fun. Do you miss 3D Touch? Do you ever think it will come back, or will there be something else other than Haptic Touch? Personally, I think Apple tried their best with 3D Touch and realized that people just didn't utilize it that much, and Haptic Touch does 95% of the same thing. And because of how they've redesigned iOS, I don't miss 3D Touch that much. Uh, before, with how they designed iOS 12 and iOS 11, 3D Touch was more appreciated and helpful, but now how they've kind of revamped Haptic Touch on iOS 13, it's not as big a deal. Um, so I used to be really adamant that we need 3D Touch, and now that it's gone and they've redesigned the OS, I'm kind of fine with it. I've kind of moved on. I've, I've not really missed it. Billy Tudor Super Chat, it says PS5 or Xbox Series X or both? Um, both. I, I'm not really into either of them, to be honest with you. It all comes down to the exclusives. That's what I find so stupid about the console wars, is that at the end of the day, you're going to pick the console that has the games you want to play. 
it doesn't really that the design the performance of them doesn't really matter that much at the end of the day because you're just going to pick the one with the games you like that's been the whole console war for the past two decades it just comes down to but halo or but spider-man or but last of us or but that you know it all comes down to that uh, Talosif is a made-up word that when I needed to create a YouTube account name, I used a name of a rocket I designed when I was like seven years old. I wanted to design a missile that exploded when it hit an aircraft. So it was like tail of a plane, an explosive, combine it, Talosif. And then later on when I was making a YouTube account, it was like, you need a unique username. This was before Google bought YouTube and you could make the username whatever you want. So when I first started YouTube, it was like, you need a unique username that no one else has. And I was like... I know a username no one else has because I made this word up. So it was Talosiv, and the name stuck. It was that simple. Osterhagen Super Chat says, What do you think about pro apps coming to... Pro apps, sorry. <laughs> Don't demonetize me, YouTube. Pro apps coming to iPad. I think it's going to happen. I think they're going to unveil it today based on the leaks and rumors we've been seeing. It may not be available to purchase or use today. I think that it'll be unveiled, but they'll say, like, this will be available for all of you this fall. It'll launch in the fall. It'll launch in the winter. It'll be a while. <laughs> you have more viewers than CNET, and they have 2.6 million subscribers. Oof! Oof! That's a lot of inactive subs, but that's okay. I have a lot of inactive subs, too. <laughs> will sleep tracking be available to all on WatchOS 7, or will new hardware be required? In my opinion, I don't understand why it can't be just a software feature. I don't know why new hardware would enable sleep tracking. All you need is, like, a battery, an accelerometer, and a microphone. But Apple might make it one of those weird things where they're like, hey, you need the latest Series 6 in order for sleep tracking. Like, I don't know. Um, I hope we can find out today, though. I hope we can find out. Sammy Super Chat, it says, good morning from SoCal. I'm a big fan. What feature would you like uh, to be added most to iPadOS aside from stability? Um, redesign of Siri. It would be great if Siri was like it was on the Mac and it just kind of came out from the side instead of covering up the whole display. I would also love it if pop-ups were transitioned into notifications, right? So I hate the little, both on iOS and the iPad, I hate the little pop-up that's like low battery, 10%, and you can't click on anything else on the display until you hit dismiss. Or if your email needs your password re-entered, it stops what you're doing on the whole display until you address that. Those should be little drop-down notifications. Those should not take over the entire screen. Same with Siri, same with phone calls, same with warnings or call you out. Yeah, all that stuff needs to be updated. Uh, I, and it comes to exclusive to iPadOS, I think it would be great if we could get official external monitor support that's not just screen mirroring, but actual, like, adapts the iPadOS screen to the external monitor. That way I could really, really easily uh, edit videos on the iPad because I could just plug it into a big screen monitor. I think that would be cool. Um, let's see. Will you start reviewing the Microsoft Surface Line? Uh, don't plan on it. Uh, I've been fairly unimpressed with the Surface Line, but I basically, because I'm my own boss, no one's in charge of me, um, I like making videos about what interests me, and I'm openly an Apple sheep. I'm biased towards Apple, and I find them the most interesting. So most of my videos will be about Apple. I will occasionally not talk about them when I find a product that I want to make videos on, but for the most part... Um, my goal isn't to talk about every single tech company. My goal is to just talk about whatever I feel like. So if I feel like talking about Surface products, I'll talk about them. If I want to talk about Apple, I'll talk about Apple. So that's what it's going to be. 3,700 people. <laughs> Holy crap. That's a lot of people. DGD Graphics. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. Um, MacBook 16-inch to programming. I don't know what you mean, but... Yes, you can program on a 16-inch MacBook. Would Final Cut be on the $300 iPad? Personally, this is a prediction of mine... I think the Pro apps will only be available on the iPad Pros. A lot of people disagree with me on that, but it's kind of one of my far-fetched conspiracy theories that Apple, because the iPad Air 4, which we talked about already, being very similar to the 2018 iPad Pro, people are going to feel less reasons to get the 2020 iPad Pro. It's like ultra-wide, LiDAR, A12Z chip, who cares? Why do we need this stuff? Um, I think Apple's going to start bringing software exclusives to the iPad Pros. So it'll be compatible with the 2018 iPad Pro and the 2020 iPad Pros. But they'll basically say Final Cut, Logic, um, that kind of stuff is going to require the A12X chip or better. And then people will be like, no, no, dang it. Uh, will Final Cut cost $300? I don't know how they're going to handle that. I saw a few leaks saying that if you own Final Cut already, you will already own it for the iPad. 
So Apple's going to make it simple and easy, and it'll just be, if you buy Final Cut for the Mac, you have it for the iPad, and if you buy it for the iPad, you have it for the Mac. Like, you buy it once, you got it on everything. To me, that would be smart, and I'm in favor of that because I've already bought Final Cut, so if I could put Final Cut on my iPad at no additional charge, that would be amazing. But uh, I could also see Apple with how much they push services making Final Cut a monthly subscription. <laughs> Please don't do that, Apple. Please. Gleb, Super Chat, it says, Hey, it's me again. Have you considered upgrading your displays to 49-inch Super Ultra Wide? They're good for multitasking. Um, I, I've, I've got three monitors on my desk right now, so I'm pretty good when it comes to screens. In fact, I already have an extra cinema display in my closet, which I'm not using, so I'm really not in the market for more monitors. Um, I haven't messed around much with those Super Ultra Wides, but every time I see them, I don't see them as ultra wide. I see them as half a TV whenever I see a screen that long. So it might be better for multitasking, but I'm not really a fan of the look or the feel those monitors get. So maybe I just need to try one and I change my mind, but uh, that monitor in the center of my desk I was sent to me for free. So that's a pretty hard deal to be. <laughs> BenQ just wanted me to try it out, so I tried it. Um, but there was no contract. There was no sponsorship. They didn't pay me. They just sent it out to me. So I am happy with this monitor setup. If the iMac gets redesigned and we see that today, I'm going all in on that thing. I don't want an ultra-wide monitor. I want iPad Pro on a stick running Mac OS. That sounds awesome. Uh, Giel, Super Chat, it says, Hi, any guesses for one more thing today? How could Apple surprise us today? Love from Belgium. Man, I don't know if there's going to be a one more thing. I'm trying to think of something they could do. Um, I mean, it'd be kind of funny if they did Apple glasses today. That would, that would definitely surprise me uh, because I don't expect that to come out this soon. Uh, how Apple changes the horrible low battery pop Hope Apple changes the horrible low battery pop-ups. Yes, Wixo Melody Animation, please change the low battery pop-ups. Change all the pop-ups. There shouldn't be pop-ups. Replace those with notifications. Mark Goodbout super chatted, and so did Billy Tudor, giving a little fist bump emoji. I guess you can do that now. Thank you for the super chat. Michael says, I wish more YouTubers live streamed in 4K. I wonder if Apple will live stream the event in 4K. They usually don't, so I'm going to guess they probably aren't going to, but um, live streams, because of how much compression the video codec has to go through, uh, the differences between resolutions are much lower. So basically, if you want to live stream at 4K, it requires a ton more bandwidth, which when you have more bandwidth, it puts you at risk of lag. And also, very little people can actually load a 4K stream on a 4K display. That's a very small percentage of people that are watching the event. And the number of people that have the internet to sustain a 4K stream, and because of the compression, the 4K isn't that noticeable, which is why most companies don't stream things in 4K, is because it's just not really... It's very hard to tell the difference. I have live streamed at 4K before on YouTube. It does support it. Um, YouTube will let you stream at 4K, but it... It's barely noticeable. I've tried it. It's not the same. It's it's not the same as streaming like 720p versus 1080p, which honestly is very close because of the video compression. That's why a lot of like professional Twitch streamers still stream at 720p because the difference between 720 and 1080, 1080 when it's a live stream, very hard to notice. Whereas if it's a pre-recorded video that's just being uploaded, because there's less compression, it's more noticeable. So 1080p versus 4K kind of sticks out a lot more. Um, holy crap, we hit 4,000 people. <laughs> wow. Thank you all for tuning in. That's amazing. Thank you guys very much. Um, what do you think of Apple would release an actual TV? Super chatted Veda. Um, there's been rumors of that happening for like a decade now and it's never happened. So I feel like Apple's not that interested and I'm not that interested either because knowing how Apple made a $6,000 pro display, if they made a TV, it would probably be at least three grand and I ain't spending that much money on a TV. I haven't even used my Apple TV in months now. Alex Lancaster Film Super Chat. It's a Siri with Johnny's voice. Oh, that'd be fantastic. And ironic, because Johnny Ive is no longer at Apple. Uh, Arvin Super Chat. It says, what will the MacBook 16-inch refresh look like? Um, the next 16-inch refresh is most likely going to be a spec bump where they just put in some new CPUs and maybe Wi-Fi 6 finally. But um, I wouldn't expect it to look much different until they switch to ARM. Maybe if they switch to ARM... They could shrink those bezels a little bit, give it face ID, or it won't require as rigid a thermal structure. So you could expect a different-looking MacBook Pro. I imagine thinner 
thinner bezels, no fans, if they switch it to ARM, but that's not expected to happen anytime soon. Uh, it's getting close. 20 minutes, guys. We've got 20 minutes to go. Uh, Leo Lima super chat. It says, guess the next Mac OS name, 321Go. I heard a leak saying Big Sur, which sounds very odd that they would call it that, but I want Big Chongus. If we're going to put Big in the Mac OS name, let's call it, let's go with Chongus. Mac OS Quarantine. Hey, that would be kind of ironic and funny and, yeah, they won't do that. But that would be funny. <laughs> I'm in favor of Mac OS Quarantine. That sounds awesome. Will ARM chip power the Macs? Latest analog, anal sorry, well, I don't, I got to talk a lot today. Forgive me if my voice gets shot. Um, you sound weird when you aren't talking at 1.75 XP. <laughs> well, when the chat is blowing this fast, I got to keep up. Uh, the ARM Max, what, where was the question again? I already forgot. Mac OS Quarantine would make sense. Um, someone was asking, yeah, I want Big Chungus on the Mac OS ARM. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, analysts were saying that uh, the first ARM Macs are going to ship as early as Q4, probably more like Q1, but if things go according to plan, they might want to get those out into the market by the fourth quarter of this year, um, which could involve a 13-inch MacBook with an ARM CPU, and I've heard they want to start switching like the rest of the Mac lineup within 20, excuse me, within 2021. I have a hard time believing that, though. I saw the analyst report saying they want to get all Macs over to ARM CPUs by t the end of 2021. The hardest part I have with believing that is the Mac Pro. They literally just launched that. And it's all about Intel and modularity and upgradability and all that stuff. And if they did all that just to switch to ARM a year later, those people who bought the Mac Pro, I feel like, would be really screwed. So I don't think they're going to switch everything to ARM next year. But I do think we'll start seeing a lot more ARM laptops next year for sure. I don't know exactly about, uh, I, I don't know exactly about switching the iMacs next year. Maybe the Ming Chi Kuo is saying they want to get the iMac on the ARM CPU next year. Mac OS, stay home. There you go. That's a good one. If Apple offers you a job, would you take it? I don't know what they. First of all, they would never do that. <laughs> I barely graduated high school. Um, second, I don't know what I could do for Apple. Uh, whatever job I could offer would not be very valuable because all I can really offer as a YouTuber is this is what I think the hardware should look like and this is what I think the software should do. That That's all I could really come up with. I could just be like, uh, I, I think it should look like this. I'm not an engineer. I'm not a software developer. I don't know much about computers. I've never built computers myself. So I'm very inexperienced in that department. So no, I don't see why Apple would hire me. Um, and I love this job. I love doing YouTube. I love talking about whatever I want and being my own boss and setting my own hours. So, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't need to work for Apple. I'd rather work for myself and talk about Apple. Jack Sobel super chatted his thoughts on Apple search engine. I think it would be cool if Apple developed their own search engine. However, they get billions of dollars a year from Google to literally do nothing. Like Apple wanted to switch the default search engine for Siri and Safari to something else, and Google said, "We'll give you nine billion dollars if you leave it as Google." And Apple's like, okay. So Apple has very little incentive to, to design their own search engine because if they want to make their own search engine, that's going to take software teams, development teams. It's going to cost them a bunch of research and development to make it happen, whereas they could do literally nothing and just keep Google as the default search engine and make billions of dollars a year. So how would you guys feel if I was like, would you rather work and lose money or do nothing and I'll give you money? I bet most of you would say, do nothing and you give me money. <laughs> Sai Chan 627 Super Chat says, Greetings from Hong Kong. Holy crap, 4,000 viewers. I guess the whole world is watching. That's true, because there's only 4,000 people left on planet Earth. <laughs> yeah. John Atkinson Super Chat, Super Chat says, Do you think Apple will release a hybrid MacBook Pro so developers can test their apps on ARM chips while not losing functionality during the Switch? Well, John, I would almost argue they kind of already have, because more recent MacBooks have the T2 chip, which is an ARM CPU. So maybe with the next version of macOS, they'll let you emulate arm apps off that cpu i know it's very low powered but in a way they kind of already have hybrid macbooks uh gdd grab g d sorry dgd graphics david a super chat says have apple recorded the event before or is it live the answer is yes but actually no <laughs> we don't know for sure we know it's a live stream but we don't know if it's pre-recorded and honestly we're not sure if apple will ever tell us if it's pre-recorded or not we don't really have a way of knowing 
So I personally, if you're asking me, I think it's pre-recorded because Apple doesn't want to have mistakes. They don't want to have slip-ups. They don't want to have. They don't want to have Craig Federighi going, "Ooh, let's go to backup here." So they probably, in my opinion, pre-recorded everything, but they will broadcast it like it is a live stream, so you can't skip ahead. You can't see the ending before others. Um, yeah, I'm very hyped. If you couldn't tell, Yusuf, uh, Tenkado super chat. It says. Will we get new design home screens for iPadOS? The non-adjustable pile of icons doesn't fit productivity on iPad Pro. Greetings from Deutschland. Thank you, Deutschland. Um, I hope so. We're going to find out very soon. We could possibly find out in the next hour. That's crazy to think about. Apple event starts in 15 minutes, folks. We'll be switching over to Twitch in five minutes. I will. The, the link to my Twitch account is in the description. If you haven't downloaded Twitch and you want to watch the Apple event with me, now's a good time to download one create one and follow me at talos of tech it's the same name as all my other social media uh i'll be over on twitch in about five six minutes uh and then i will react to the apple event there yes you will be able to see and hear the apple event as i'm reacting to it oh i'm sorry someone says i missed their super chat i will try and go find it um let's see josh super chat it says would you ever host a today at apple class you know my whole family is teachers my mom is a teacher, my dad is a teacher, my sister is a teacher, my aunt is a teacher, my uncle was a teacher, my grandpa was a teacher, my other aunt is a teacher. I'm like the one kid in the family that wasn't a teacher, but I feel like I could be pretty good at it. I just don't know what I would teach. Um, I never have attended one of those Apple, today at Apple classes. I don't know. I don't know why I would teach one. Maybe. If I had something interesting to talk about, I guess. But why Twitch and not YouTube? Great question. YouTube does not like it when I react to Apple events. If I react to an Apple event on YouTube, they will take it down. Twitch doesn't care. Twitch has let me react to Apple events over there for years now, and they've never uh, questioned it. They've always been fine with it. YouTube, however, has much more strict and bizarre and messed up copyright rules to the point that if I ra react to the Apple event on YouTube, I'll get in trouble, and they won't let you watch it. So I want you guys to watch it. Also, if you're not able to react, if you don't want to watch the Twitch event live, you will be able to watch it after it is live. Twitch will keep a broadcast of that uh, for three months after the Apple event, after the live stream takes place. So if you want to just watch the Apple event by yourself, uh, you don't want to watch it with me, totally get it, that's fine. Um, but if you want to watch my reaction afterwards, I will tweet out the link once the live stream is done. And yes, it will be available on my Twitch page after the fact. So you can watch it later. This is reminding me of when you went full on Eminem rap god to make the Pixel Book rant. <laughs> Guys, I am the literal Apple sheep. If you search Apple sheep online, I'm what you get. And we're about to get one of only two Apple events this year. Of course I'm excited. Of course I'm pumped. And this is going to be a much more different Apple event than usual. So, oh, I apologize. Someone said I missed their super chat. Let me see. I think YouTube will give me... A dedicated super chat section section here. Uh, Apple search engine. Taylor Ray super chat. It says opinions on changing default apps. I'm all for it. I'm not exactly sure why Apple hasn't changed it yet, but yes, I want it. Um, where YouTubers streamed in live. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, okay. Penny Grossman super chat. It says hi from London. When do you think Apple Card will be available in the UK? I want it so bad. Listen, I'm sure Apple wants to bring the Apple Card to the UK. But when you launch credit cards in other countries, there are so many laws and rules you have to jump through that it is very, very difficult um, for Apple to bring the Apple Card to the UK. It's not a matter of a software update. Um, there's all kinds of banks and rules and government legislation they have to get through to make that possible. I'm sure they want to. I've heard nothing about them bringing it to the UK, but I want, I want them to. I want you guys to have the Apple Card. I hope you know that. I'm not rooting. I want everybody to have it. I wish every feature Apple unveiled was available for everyone. Um, but because the world is not that simple, uh, they can't. They have a lot of laws to abide by. Let's see. The Apple live stream is on. Okay. I'm sure it's a countdown. Uh, we'll be moving to Twitch very shortly. Stay tuned. Uh, I searched up Apple Sheep and you actually showed up. That's what I'm saying. I am the Apple Sheep. There's no one else. I know the live stream is on, but the, they won't start talking. And they do this every year, by the way. The live stream starts about 15 minutes before the event actually begins. So I'm sure the live stream has started, but there's nothing in there. Um, do you think we will get air power? No, <laughs> I really do not. I am not convinced air power is ever coming out. Um, let's see. Do you think YouTube will allow 120 FPS in videos? Maybe. I feel like very little people could actually notice the difference. Dark mode Apple card? That would be cool. I want a dark mode Apple card. Bro, react to the earth. <laughs> Uh, let's see. 
Credit cards is a no for me, Doc. That's fine. You don't have to get them. I just like the free money. I, I like that I don't ever miss a credit card payment on my Apple card, so all the cash back is just pure profit for me. Covers my other Apple services. Um, let's see. John says he's about to cause a ruckus. Okay, good for John. Enjoy, enjoy his tweets. Thank you for the super chat um, from Mersey. Let's see. Which showcase will be the one you are most excited for? If there's a redesigned iMac, that is number one for me today. Sounds like that might not happen. Outside of that, final cut for iPad Pro. If we're getting that today, I'm super pumped. And it feels like we might not get either. <laughs> what if nothing we want happens? That's always a possibility. Um, let's see. What if all the leakers got together and planned to prank everybody? Yeah, it's stupid. I don't, I don't like what the leakers are doing these days. They annoy me. They love doing things until the last minute. I'm not going on Twitter. I'm not looking at Twitter. I'm, I'm committed to the Apple event at this point. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached 950. I will now be moving over to Twitch. Prepare yourselves. I'm going to be spamming in the chat. Mods don't ban me. <laughs> the link is in the chat. And uh, I'm going to start the stream now. I appreciate all of the super chats, all of you people joining in on YouTube. For those not coming to Twitch, thank you for watching. I will be doing, doing a recap after the fact. Thank you all for tuning in. I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys. Let's